let's see the step-by-step -step procedure on how to manage deep splits from identifying and evaluating the root canal system all the way to mechanical preparation and final obturation. First of all, we need to understand and evaluate the clinical scenario. Like in this case, we can see the outline of the buccal roots, but unfortunately not the canals. And as you can see in the video, even under magnification from the microscope, I can only see the oval shape of the pulp chamber. First of all, I need to evaluate the radiograph and understand that I have two canals. Now having this knowledge, I can insert a pre-curved file to cut the orifice and a little bit enlarge it so that I can easily access it with the next instruments. Of course, we need irrigation to remove all the debris and not to obliterate the canal. Here I'm using EDTA liquid, which is very helpful. Now again I can proceed with the pre-curved file cutting inside the canal and because the handpiece has an integrated apex locator, when it has reached the working length it will automatically stop and reverse. The palatal canal in this case was quite easier and as you can see now in the photograph the two buccal canals are really close to each other and in that way it is easy for us to miss one of them. Very important tip for the obturation of such canal configurations. Always place the first put aperca with sealer in the most difficult to access canal and then we cut it with the heat carrier in the orifice just to avoid pushing a uh, and material inside the other canal and in this way we can easily put the other Gutaperca in the canal as well. For this step it is very very helpful to have magnification depending also on how deep the split is. Now I will use the filler device to completely fill the canals with a plasticized wood aperca and of course use a plugger to tightly adapt it into the canal system. It is very important to remove all the excess of the endodontic materials so that we can have a clean cavity for the restorative procedure in this case in the next appointment. So I use alcohol with a micro brush to remove the excess of sealer and the material. And uh, be very patient and careful because all this material can be under uh, undercuts and in areas not visible with uh, direct vision. So in order to have a clean area for the restorative procedure. So, let's sum it up. First of all, we need to evaluate the case and understand it from radiographic evaluation, either periapical or CBCT. Then we need to have a plan on how to instrument such cases. So, we need to do coronal enlargement on the orifices of the deep split of the canals. Then, and of course, uh, magnification and illumination is a very important factor and helps us a lot in these cases. Then we need to be able to see that each file is entering the canal that we want. And of course, in obturation, first of all, obturate the most difficult to access canal, cut the wood aperca in the orifice, so that no material wood aperca is injected and blocks the other canal. If you have much space, you could do both canals simultaneously. Very important tip, if you see that the buccal canal has orientation that diverges from the central line, this uh, most probably means that we have another buccal canal diverging in the other direction. 
If you find that this video was helpful to you, please leave a like and subscribe.